Sometimes we come across buildings that don't seem real, having a design so creative that it's hard to believe architects could be given such free reign. Luckily for us, there are plenty of buildings out there that define outside-of-the-box thinking. I'm Reacher, and today we're bringing you 10 insane buildings that actually exist. Number 10. Unveiled in 2005, this spectacular office building in central Hamburg has a rhombus-shaped design that makes it look almost like a ship about to sail down the river. Construction started in 2002 as part of a bigger redevelopment of the riverbank, and when it was finished three years later, it won the Building of the Year Award. The building hangs at a 66-degree angle out over the river, leaning to allow the ship's bow to cantilever for almost 131 feet. It's 69 feet wide and houses a restaurant, roof terrace, and 9,000 square feet of office space. Made of steel and glass, the developers had to receive special permission to extend the dock walls into the river with 323,000 square feet of earth to surround the concrete pile foundations. It now stands as a beacon, welcoming container and passenger ships to the Hamburg Harbor. Number nine. Nestled up in the mountains about one hour outside of Tehran, Iran, is the Baron Ski Resort. The stunning white facade of this 108,000 square foot hotel is intended to resemble the natural landscape covered in fresh snow. The purpose of the project is to show new ideas that help in modifying the relationship between architecture and nature. The designers also took inspiration from native Arctic residents as each apartment is reminiscent of igloos. The twist is that instead of placing ice blocks horizontally to make a dome shape, here topographical layers are placed. The interior features clean lines and offers an easy flow between rooms. The use of white again comes into play, allowing the natural light to reflect off the walls to fill the room. Number eight. The Samri Wellbeing and Resilience Center was completed in 2013 for around $144 million. Depending on how the light hits it, the building seems to be either a beautiful sculpture or a silvery plant covered in a type of pine cone skin. But it's actually covered in little triangular hoods which create the mixed appearance. Some of these hoods have built-in shading which allows the depth and degree of solar control to be varied according to the needs of the different spaces within the building. This keeps it cool, well lit, and environmentally friendly. The building accommodates up to 700 researchers, and inside it looks as though it's a building within a building as the desks and offices are in the internal structure located on floors that are more like balconies as they gaze out at the external hood. Number 7 Unveiled in 2002, the Nord LB Bank occupies an entire city block standing out from the pattern and scale of the surrounding buildings. Inside the complex is a large public courtyard dotted with reflecting pools, public art, shops, and cafes. The standout structure is a 230-foot high building in the center of the courtyard, which was once derided as a stack of containers by the locals. Nowadays, Hanover residents take pride in the design, which sees the building twist and turn the higher up it goes. It also has green roofs and terraces, which are enclosed by steel and white glass railings. The main structure offers a coat of steel cables and glass in the parts of the building that project out, allowing the structure the same flexibility as a suspended roof. Number 6 The red and silver colored Peterson Automotive Museum is sure to catch the attention of those driving by. The museum had been a hit since opening in 1994, but back in 2014 it was in bad need of a redesign. The goal of injecting new life into the building came in the form of a $90 million renovation employing a design with minimal intervention that would produce the maximum effect. Inspired by the automobiles, they came up with the idea of covering the building in red and adding 308 custom-made stainless steel ribbons on top of the facade, evoking a feeling that the building is moving. At night, the red color and ribbons are lit from within to accentuate the steel sculpture. Number 5. The Mauritius Commercial Bank has enjoyed public approval since it was built in 2010. Seen from the front, at first the building looks like an egg lying on its side and resting upon two stilts. The curving sides were a natural choice considering the building needed to accommodate an auditorium and lecture theater. 
It costs $45 million to construct and provides over 300,000 square feet of office space. The architects opted to design a one-size-for-all desk, irrespective of salary structure, which resulted in a less hierarchical working environment. The office atmosphere is also enhanced by the open floor plan as the space is well lit by the floor-to-ceiling glass windows and large floor plates create easy communication between work groups. Number 4 Innovation is at the heart of the Kreen Kum Ho Culture Complex in downtown Seoul, South Korea. With its rippling circular windows, the complex is home to offices, conference rooms, cafes, and a creative space for holding public performances, events, and exhibitions. The 44,000 square foot complex is constructed out of steel, which gives the exterior a silver color and contributes to the futuristic feel. The interior features stark white walls giving way to high ceilings, cylindrical glass walkways connecting different spaces, and a suspended tunnel on the third level. The experimental design employs the idea of brand strategy by using interior spaces as a medium between the company and the consumer. This so-called brand space attempts to create a corporate identity through architecture. At night, the biggest circular window can be lit up to advertise events or project unique designs. Number 3 Namba Parks blows away what a traditional mall is supposed to look like. A rooftop park is the showstopper to this eight-floor commercial center, and it comes complete with tree groves, rock clusters, lawns, streams, and even waterfalls. When the Osaka Stadium closed down, prime real estate next to the Namba train station provided a great opportunity. Its owner hired an architectural firm to create a gateway to redefine Osaka's identity. The creation was Namba Parks, what would become a natural intervention in Osaka's dense and harsh urban environment. The development costs $648 million, but attracts a large number of people due to the scarcity of green spaces in the city. The park starts at street level, and visitors can either walk up the gentle incline to the rooftop or walk through the commercial center, which acts as a canyon, cutting through the center as the park rises on either side of it. Number 2 in Tempo looks like a giant letter M standing out among the hotel skyscrapers of Benidorm. It's the fifth tallest building in Spain, consisting of two parallel towers rising 630 feet high that are connected by a 66-foot cone structure at the top. This 269-home residential apartment building has become a symbol of incompetence that was plagued with problems throughout its conception. The building was originally approved in 2006 and was scheduled for completion in 2009. It was lauded as a banner of the future, however, due to the recession, debt problems, and poor architectural planning, it wasn't completed until 2014. Homes are only just going on sale now, though, as fresh economic and legal problems meant the property developer behind the project went bankrupt and a new owner had to be found. Prices for a one-bedroom luxury apartment are expected to start around $400,000. Number 1. This final entry on our list is by far one of the coolest things we've ever shown in one of our videos. It's called the Libyan International Building and it's located in the city of Gaiyang, China. The building itself resembles most skyscrapers of its kind, having reflective windows, a surrounding plaza, and a height of just under 400 feet tall. But it's the addition of a massive waterfall that makes this one a standout, not just locally, but worldwide. The water comes from a mix of collected rainwater and recycled tap water that is moved by four 185 kilowatt pumps that take two hours of prep time just to get started. Once it's flowing, the water cascades 350 feet down from an opening on one side of the building. Seeing this wonder firsthand is free to the public but comes at a price to the company as the cost of running everything uses about $120 worth of electricity per hour. This has led to it only being turned on for special occasions for 10 to 20 minutes at a time since its completion about two years ago. The feeling among the locals has been mixed, with some saying it's too strange, while others have embraced the progressive nature of the idea and the coming changes in architectural design that seem to be inevitable. Although you might question reality when looking at some of these buildings, I can assure you you're not dreaming. So be sure and let us know in the comments which one surprised you the most. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why.
Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.